when you uh, when you put your money where your mouth is, it's a rarity. And uh, and Ron and Mike have stepped up to the plate to help us continue our movement with this project. And from the heart, I want to say thank you so much. And my prayer is that both of your businesses prosper beyond your imaginations. Okay. Look what one thought can create. Back in 2005, I uh, went to my first Katy High School football game. It was a playoff game back in November. I saw 10,000 people in red and white on the Katy side alone, and the first thought that came to my mind was, oh my, this is a movie. And you guys are a part of that process, and, and I'm truly thankful for you being here. Uh, we've got some celebrities in the house, so we always have to pay homage to those people that are in the house. First of all, if there are any of you that know anything about uh, Katy High School football, uh, the name Mike Johnston, which is today in the Texas High School Hall of Fame, happens to be with us today. Uh, Coach Johnson, could you just uh, stand up for a second? <laughs> Guys, Coach Johnson is a part of this uh, this heritage, this tradition of excellence that people speak of all the time. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm so excited because I know from having an opportunity to talk with him, uh, Coach Gordon Brown from the 1959 team, that uh, these coaches have all strong spiritual foundations, which means that our movie will have the same. So the message that we're going to give get out will have that tone to it so America does not even begin to understand what's getting ready to come their way and it's because of, uh, of lives like like gentlemen like uh, coach Mike Johnson like characters like his that make a difference you know what's coming out of Hollywood we see it we accept it and we move on we have to begin to realize that we can change what comes out of Hollywood by making sure that it comes out of Houston that making sure that it comes out of Texas we have that power, we have that ability. So if we begin to do something about it, then what comes out of Hollywood will be what comes out of Katy. Okay, so uh, that to me, we are creators. We have the ability. If you don't like something, you know, you can change it by being committed to it. Uh, another celebrity we have here is uh, from uh, 6.50 a.m. radio. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Red Quantum, guys, is here. <laughs> what gets exciting is that when you have a project, now believe it or not, the reason why you, all you guys are here is because of one of our producers, Dana Walsh, who was kind enough to say, hey, listen, Dex, we can't afford a uh, casting production company. I'll begin the process, okay? So 99% of you are here because she was willing to commit to that process. So commitment is one of the key characteristics that I believe will make us all successful if we, uh, if we hone in on it and decide to make that work. So Dana, thank you so much for... <laughs> Putting together a team, Coach Johnson will tell you that you have to get the right players in the right position, okay? And for me, uh, I just figured, hey, you know what? I know how clumsy I am, so I'm going <laughs> to surround myself with talent, all right? So one of our producers, Julie Garlow, is also a director, producer, and she just won her uh, first director's award. Was that first or first of many? <laughs> And that's good to know when you're directing your first movie <laughs> that you've got some key personnel in the right places, you know. But uh, we, we, are, we are literally surrounded by talent. And the talent that's in this room that has an opportunity, and, and like I said uh, a second ago with Ron and Mike, you know, I want everybody that's attached to this project to have the ability to, when they walk away, really have an opportunity for the world to know who they're all about, okay? 
Uh, I, I, I say that and I'll occasionally reiterate that fact, but I, it comes from the heart because there is so much talent right around us in our very own backyards that never really has the opportunity to, to be acknowledged to that level. And I think that by working together, we have an opportunity to, uh, to make people stand up and, and take notice. And uh, so that excites me, and that's why I'm, I'm glad. I learned a long time ago when I was a quarterback in high school and we had our first 0 and 10 record that uh, you, know, you got to do something different next. Okay. So anyway, so I, I take you know uh, total responsibility for that. But from now on, I said I'm going to surround myself by talent. So you know that that won't happen again. Um, you know, for a director, producer, a, a guy, a writer that tries to create, one of the things you learn is that you uh, how not to make the mistakes. You know, you get people in, into your camp. Uh, one of our guests tonight is uh, Nick Nichols. Uh, he's with the Houston Film Critics. Uh, is that is that correct? Nick? Nicholson. Nick Nicholson. No, but it's the Houston Film. Houston Film Critics Society. Okay. Listen. If you can get the critics on your side before you start. <laughs> at least a reasonable chance to get acknowledged, you know. So, uh, you know, you have to know how to work your way through the madness, but no, seriously, uh, there is so much talent in, in Houston and uh, in, in Texas, and we just need to, uh, to begin to do projects, quite honestly, you know, and really get committed to those projects. And as you can see, you know, just by, you know, this all actually just happened in, in three days to get here. Right, Lorena, which is, you know, can I have a hug? <laughs> Thank you so much. You know what, you've got to, uh, your PR people are very important, you know. Uh, they, they take you and they, and they make you feel good. Thank you for being so there for me. <laughs> Guys, our plan is this, and, uh, and I tell my team, Listen, guys, everything we need is right here in our front yards. We just have to say, let's put it out there and let's go after it and, and get it. There are people that are saying, well, Dexter, you don't have your budget, you don't have your money together. And I said, hey, guys, you know, we didn't get here by me not having the blind faith to move forward. Now, the blind faith is great, but without the action, okay, without us going forward and moving and saying, hey, we're going to make this thing happen, it would never happen. So, uh... The people in this room right here can create a large enough voice that there will be nothing that we need as we move forward. And I guarantee you, if you walk away tonight committed to this project, we're going to find what we need. Brent just said the other day, hey, listen, we're going to adopt you and your project. And I don't know what your listening uh, audience is. All of them. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, so we, guys, what's coming together here right now is the ability to make something big happen. Now, I don't know if any of you uh, have seen our invitation yet, but there's a little Oscar on there, okay? Yeah. And it's a subliminal Oscar, okay? But I'll tell you what, he's there for a reason, because if we don't claim it, nobody else is. So right. we have to claim it starting right here. Every actor. Every actor, every producer, you know, every, from craft service. Uh, I mean, we're fortunate enough to have uh, a Larry McKee on our team. And he We got, we got people from Katy that went to school, like Daryl Superzinski. Guys, it's up to us now. It's up to us to take it to the next level, all right? I tell people, hey, they say, oh, I, I hear about your project, I love your project, and I say, hey, this is our project. You know, I just happen to be the quarterback, you know, in the position right now, and hey, if I fumble, I guarantee you're going to have another quarterback right in, in line, you know, ready to make this thing happen, you know. But you have to be willing to step aside and get the right people in the right places. Now, what I'm asking you to do is to go out there and say, hey, what do you guys need? 
all right, let's find it. Uh, and, and that can happen because we have the power. I mean, we are so resourceful as human beings, we just don't claim what is ours. And we have to learn how to do that. And, and I think by having you know, little meetings like this where we can all come together and, and see amongst ourselves how much talent is amongst us, that we can actually make this thing happen and we can make it work. I believed in my heart that this was going to be on the big screen. I really, truly did. Three years ago, I took this to Brother Joel Olstein at Lakewood, and I say, we need to pray over this, all right? Let's pray for direction. Let's pray for guidance. Let's pray for the resources that we need in order to make this thing happen. And for a, re for a while there, I thought the good Lord was, uh, you know, he was absent that day. <laughs> But uh, in, in the last couple of months, all of a sudden, he's saying, hey, you know what, little guy, you can't even handle what I'm getting ready to throw down. Uh, so uh, I, I see it coming, and I see it in your faces, and I see it in your energy, and so many of you have been volunteering your time and your resources to make this thing happen, and, uh, and I truly am humble for that, and thank you so much. So I know we've got a program over here. Now, did I miss any, 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 any people that I need to recognize that's what happens when your group grows from one you know to a hundred and all of a sudden it's like oh okay but uh, listen all you guys here I, I'm truly thankful uh, enjoy the rest of the day and when you get out there tell people that you are a part of K Nation the boys of fall thank you very much